Hello everyone. Very good morning. Very warm welcome to all of you. Once again to the Europe session brought to you by Baiju's Exam Prep. Today we have to cover important questions, some general knowledge questions and some subject oriented questions from the unit Artificial Intelligence. So yes, before we proceed with any of the discussion everyone, one quick confirmation is needed first of all. Is my voice perfectly audible to you all? Is PPT clearly visible? Screen is okay so one quick confirmation is needed so that we can proceed with our session yes everyone Okay, all okay, perfect. So yes, as I said, we are going to discuss today the questions artificial intelligence. But let me tell you one interesting point about artificial intelligence. See, these days in paper one also, you are getting some questions which are technology based. And artificial intelligence is one such topic which is quite trendy these days. Huh? And many students or, or rather does not matter whether you people belong to the field of computers or not, you are using artificial intelligence in our day-to-day -day life, right? Therefore, you can expect the questions artificial intelligence, some general terms, some general knowledge questions in paper one also. So keeping that in mind, I have added few questions which are important general knowledge type of questions from the unit artificial intelligence first of all. So if you won't be knowing about them then you can note down those points. I will share the PDF. I've added the solution which can help you to know more about the terms. Right? Okay. But yes before we start off with our session everyone Please note down my schedule, my lectures on YouTube and Baiju's app, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 11 a.m. and Tuesday, Baiju's app session, 11 a.m. in the morning. Do not forget, you all have to join the Telegram channel also because on Telegram, I will be sharing this PDF file, okay? And yes, quickly mark your attendance. First of all, jaldi se press the button like and do share the session with your friends as well so that they can also join for the interesting lectures okay without wasting our time everyone we are moving first of all to the homework question which was given in the last lecture so the question was there was a post order which is given here for a bst and my question was what is the height of this tree right so you know that what is the in order traversal of the binary search tree the in order traversal of the binary search tree is always in ascending order always please note down this point in order is always ascending order for bst so once you write it in ascending order you will get the sequence as what you will get the sequence just writing in ascending order which is two six seven eight 9, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17, 19 and 20 right so in order you have written post order is given so using in order and post order now you have to draw the tree structure so you know according to the post order structure whatever node is existing on the extreme right hand side that node is actually the root node in post order the extreme right hand side node is actually the post order that that, that is a root element hana? so that means 16 is a root element now what is the property of the binary search tree the property of the BST is the node which is existing on left hand side will be smaller the node existing on right hand side should be larger that's what the property is so satisfying this property you have to search 16 16 is the root node all these nodes will be on left hand side so 2 6 7 8 9 12 uh, 10 12 and 15 will be on right 17 19 and 20 will be on left Okay, 17, 19 and 20 will be on 
the left hand on the right hand 17 19 and 20 will be on the right hand side of the tree structure okay after this you will keep on inserting checking again what is uh, here out of all these nodes what is existing at the last because that will be the root node right? so the node which is existing at the last last that you have to check so node existing last in the post order will be out of these nodes it will be 15 yes so 15 will be the root nodes you can search 15 15 will be the root and all the nodes will go to the left hand side this way you keep on drawing the structure but here the point is because it's a bst so you have to be sure that the left hand side one second there is no okay sorry one second have i written 12 so it's 2 6 7 8 9 10 uh 15 16 okay there's no 12 sorry there's no 12 here there's no 12 here perfect take a g right okay there's no 12 here right so you have to be sure every time when you draw the tree structure you have to be very sure that the left hand side should be smaller and the right hand side should be larger right the left hand side should be smaller and the right hand side should be larger so keeping this in mind you will draw the tree structure and calculating the height okay so here there's there's a slight mistake i think because in solution it's mentioned 12 let me show you here the solution has mentioned 12 so i think maybe 12 is existing in sequence yes there is a confusion here in the question why because post order has not given us 12 but in in order it's mentioned the value 12 which is used here in the tree also so okay leave this solution everyone leave this solution you just have to concentrate what i am teaching here you just have to see that 12 is not existing so ignore the node 12 after ignoring the complete node 12 you have to draw the complete structure as it is that's what i am doing here okay so again from these nodes whatever is existing at the extreme right that will be the root node and then accordingly you can draw the tree structure okay again at every point here it should satisfy that the left hand side should be smaller right hand side should be larger because it's a bst so bst has a property that left node is smaller right node is larger so you have to keep this in mind every time okay so here also now you insert the next node which will come out as 15 yeah the next node which will come out as 15 so once you insert 15 here so 15 is the node which is in in order all the nodes will go on the left hand side of 15 because they all are smaller so it's right right and here 17 19 and 20 the rightmost node is 19 19's left child will be 17 19's right child will be 20 yes this way similarly here also extreme right hand side existing is 8 extreme right hand side existing in post order is 8 so 8 will be the root node if you put 8 at the root level after putting the 8 at root level now 8's left child will be 2 6 and 7 and right child will be 9 and 10 it satisfies the property okay out of 2 6 and 7 extreme right node is 6 so 6 will be the root node okay if 6 is a root node then 2 will be the left child and 7 will be the right child thereby again satisfying the property here out of 9 and 10 9 is a root node and right child of 9 will be 10 so that's what you do here the right child of 9 is equal to 10 this is the tree structure and at every level you can check it satisfies the property of the bst what is the height of the tree everyone the height of the tree is, e is height equal to 1 height equal to 2 height equal to 3 and here height equal to 4 so height of the tree is equal to 4 that's it question done okay right now moving to our next question everyone where we have to see the artificial intelligence statements but yes as i said in the very beginning of the session that today i have added some questions which are some general type of questions which you can expect in paper one also okay so moving to our first question here with respect to ai which of the following statement is not correct time starts now what is not correct 
artificial intelligence can imitate the cognitive function of human like learning artificial intelligence system can learn from past experiences driverless car is an example of artificial intelligence question is saying what is not correct in me say kaun sa statement galat hai so do we have any of the statement here out of them which is wrong no all of them are the true statements yes all of them are the true statements because it it actually imitates the cognitive function cognitive function will be uh, where we use the conscious mind ha na so human ki conscious function home human ke conscious माइंड फंक्शंस को वो कॉपी करता है लाइक लर्निंग इट आल्सो लर्न फ्रॉम द पास्ट एक्सपीरियंस यस ड्राइवरलेस कार इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ एआई सो नन ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स हियर इन आर क्वेश्चन इज अ फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट सो राइट आंसर विल बी डी यस राइट आंसर इज डी सतेंद्र इन ऑर्डर फॉर बीएसटी इज ऑलवेज इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर always learn this statement next question everyone so all the statements are right here okay artificial intelligence is what out of four statements you can expect such simple questions in paper 1 bilkul aa sakte hain simple questions easy questions artificial intelligence kya hota hai it's a science that attempts to produce machine that display the same type of intelligence that human do the manipulation of matter on an atomic molecular and super molecular scale the imitation of the operation of real world process or system over time the method of storing and transmitting data in a particular form so that only those for whom it is intended can read and process it is it the method of storing something it's not a method of storing something is it imitating all the real world processes no is it the manipulation of matter or atomic molecules and super molecular scale no it is a science it is a attempt which is trying to produce a machine which can do the same type of intelligence which can have the same type of intelligence which can possess the same type of intelligence as like human so right answer for the question will be a yes right answer will be option number a okay so artificial intelligence is a machine can be a machine it can be inserted with a software also ha huh? here it is a design of a intelligent agent also which can take actions right right next question everyone next which neural network architecture will be best to use for an image recognition process time starts now for image recognition process for image recognition common hai bahut zyada उसमें कौन सा न्यूरल नेटवर्क का आर्किटेक्चर सबसे बेस्ट यूज होता है यस राइट आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन फॉर इमेज रिकोगशन द बेस्ट यूज इज कॉन्वोल्यूशनल न्यूरल नेटवर्क बिकॉज कॉन्वोल्यूशनल न्यूरल नेटवर्क has inherent nature that takes into consideration the nearby locations of an image right they have their nature they have their construction as like this that they take something which is nearby right that is why the right answer for the question will be c general knowledge ka question hai everyone maine pehle hi bola tha maine kuch questions starting ke general knowledge type rakhe hain which maybe you do not know but you will learn here about them okay so perceptron multilayer perceptron to hum terms padhte hain hai na hum log perceptron uh, कॉन्सेप्ट ए आई के अंदर पूरा डिस्कस करते हैं बट इट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट न्यूरल नेटवर्क में हम परसेप्ट्रॉन पढ़ते हैं राइट बट हेयर द आंसर इज कॉन्वोल्यूशनल न्यूरल नेटवर्क यू कैन रीड हेयर बिकॉज इट हैज इनहेरेंट नेचर दैट टेक्स इन टू कंसिडरेशन द नियर बाई लोकेशन ऑफ एन इमेज यूजिंग दिस इट विल प्रोसेस द इमेज इन प्रिसाइज सो द राइट आंसर इज कॉन्वोल्यूशनल ओके राइट 
you can also know about the word what is the meaning of recurrent neural network so neural networks also has one category recurrent neural network which is actually uh, the network where connection between the nodes is created by the cycle and recurrent neural network is particularly used for speech recognition yes please note down here the question was asking about image processing that's why the answer is convolutional okay please note down if by chance question ask you about speech recognition then for speech recognition we use recurrent neural network yes for speech recognition and also for one more reason speech recognition word can be related to natural language processing also understanding the natural language and then taking the action accordingly so we can say natural language processing word is also related to this no problem if you do not know please note down i'm explaining here that's that's why i have added this question next everyone next question next question is e poch is a term which is used to describe in neural network for what what is this term e poch i think maybe you have uh, read this word again for the first time but no problem this is a general knowledge question what is this term how do you define this how do we define this term this is a term which is used to define the full cycle in neural network it describe all the data in the training set presented to the neural network so here it talk about all the data yes it's not talking about particular some uh, percent of data it talks about all the data in other words you can also understand that this is uh, the term uh, in artificial intelligence which is an event or the time where a new period or a new development begin in english if we define is it it's the time when a new thing or a new period or a new development begin yeah you can say a memorable date something which is memorable jisko yaad rakha jata hai ha na so aisi koi cheez jab start hoti hai something memorable that is called as epoch also in artificial intelligence this term is used in machine learning please note down this term is used in machine learning in artificial intelligence and this indicate number of passes the entire training set the machine learning algorithm has completed it defines what number of passes please note down the definition number of passes the num the machine learning algorithm number of passes the machine learning algorithm has completed so from how many passes any machine learning algorithm goes through so it's talk about all the data in the training set okay it defines all the data in the training set is talk about full cycle yes absolutely right answer is option number d you can read here it's a term used to define a full cycle ha huh? so it's describe all the data is presented in the neural network next question everyone which of the following is an example of unsupervised neural network so unsupervised neural network is that where there is no extra information given right so nothing or rather not extra there is no training given right it has to take the decision it has to think and decide accordingly itself so what is the example of unsupervised neural network this is a common example which we use back propagation heb network associative memory network self organizing feature map okay so as i said 
unsupervised learning is where there is no information given yes so unsupervised learning is where it has to think itself yes absolutely the right answer self organizing map and you can note down for rest of the terms which i have added back propagation network supervised hota hai back propagation network ke andar the complete information is defined you know uh, what is supervised learning supervised learning can be where the complete information is given jahan pe aapko puri labeling ki jati hai ha na aur supervised learning aap aise samajh sakte ho let's say ek fruit basket hai theek hai fruit basket mein fruit pade hain राइट नाउ दिस इज वेल लेबल्ड पहले से ही मशीन को ट्रेनिंग दी गई है कि व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फ्रूट्स राइट सो दैट व्हेन अ इनपुट इज गिवन मशीन कैन आइडेंटिफाई कि ये कौन से टाइप का फ्रूट है पहले से मशीन को ट्रेन कर दिया कि रेड कलर का राउंड शेप्ड होगा तो वो एप्पल होता है राइट येलो कलर का सिलेंड्रिकल फ्रूट होगा तो उसे बनाना कहते हैं ग्रीन कलर के स्मॉल स्मॉल बंच में होंगे तो उसको ग्रेप्स कहते हैं तो अब जब भी इनपुट मिलेगा मशीन को तो मशीन कैन आइडेंटिफाई बिकॉज मशीन हैज एन आइडिया राइट सो दैट इज सुपरवाइज वेयर एज इफ देर इज नो लेबलिंग गिवन इफ देर इज नो ट्रेनिंग गिवन देन मशीन ट्राइज टू रिकोगनाइज अकॉर्डिंग टू पैटर्न विच इज अनसुपरवाइज राइट विच इज अनसुपरवाइज यू कैन लर्न हियर दैट कौन सुपरवाइज में आता है कौन अनसुपरवाइज के अंदर आता है ठीक है सो हेयर वी यू कैन टॉक अबाउट बैक प्रोपगेशन बैक प्रोपगेशन मेथड इज वाइडली यूज टेल गॉरथम फॉर ट्रेनिंग पर्पज येस इट्स अ वाइडली यूज टेल गॉरथम फॉर ट्रेनिंग पर्पज इन न्यूरल नेटवर्क ठीक है सिमिलरली यू कैन टॉक अबाउट हैब नेटवर्क हैब नेटवर्क आई एडेड हेयर हैब नेटवर्क कैन सिंपली बी सुपरवाइज एज वेल एज हैब नेटवर्क कैन बी अनसुपरवाइज तो ये दोनों हो सकते हैं इसके अंदर ट्रेनिंग हो भी सकती है इसमें नहीं भी हो सकती बिकॉज हैब नेटवर्क होता है जिसके अंदर दो न्यूरोन्स को हम कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं और उसका वेट देख रहे हैं है ना सो हेयर वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग the weights calculating what will be the output produced by having the different type of neurons with their respective weights huh? so that is a type of network created known as hab network राइट एसोसिएटिव नेटवर्क तो सीमेंटिक नेटवर्क की तरह होता है जिसके अंदर नोड्स होते हैं और लेबलिंग की गई होती है वेल सो दिस वेल लेबल सो ये सुपरवाइज न्यूरल नेटवर्क है एंड सेल्फ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग मैप इज अनसुपरवाइज वे दिस नथिंग गिवन सो इट हैज टू ऑर्गेनाइज इट सेल्फ इट हैज टू फाइंड द पाथ इट सेल्फ सो राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है प्रभान न्यूरल नेटवर्क रेफर्स टू सिस्टम ऑफ न्यूरॉन्स आइदर ऑर्गेनिक और आर्टिफिशियल इन नेचर सो देर आर थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स मेंशन हियर यू हैव टू टेल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू फॉर न्यूरल नेटवर्क्स स्टेटमेंट वन आर्टिफिशियल न्यूरॉन्स आर आइडेंटिकल इन ऑपरेशन टू बायोलॉजिकल वंस ओके न्यूरल नेटवर्क कैन बी सिमुलेटेड ऑन अ कन्वेंशनल कंप्यूटर द ट्रेनिंग टाइम डिपेंड्स ऑन द साइज ऑफ द नेटवर्क so what is the right statement out of these categories mentioned neural network are identical to in in function as identical in operation to biological ones artificial neural network are identical neural networks are doing the machine learning na so they actually do machine learning they simulate conventional computer that is okay they simulate conventional computer this is correct and training time depends upon the size of network absolutely but they are identical they are absolutely similar in operation to biological ones no no they are not absolutely similar to the operation in biological ones so right answer is statement number c statement number c they are means of doing machine learning in which a computer learns to perform so they are similar to uh, conventional computers also it depends upon how much optimization you do you did on your code so that depends upon uh, the size Hmm? that depends upon the size of the network so training time depends upon the size of the network right answer will be c next question the first neural network yes everyone general knowledge question again what is the first neural network what is the name of the first neural network rfd sna rc am or am we'll define these uh, 
terms. Yes, what is the first neural network? The first neural network is SNARC. The first neural network is SNARC. It's AN? No, it's not AN. It's not AN. It is SNARC. This is the first neural network existing. And uh, one more thing, this first neural network, SNARC, this is actually full form I have defined here. No, it's B, it's SNARC. So, it stands for Stochastic Neural Analog Reinforcement Calculator, which was designed by Malvin Miski. Yes, this is first artificial neural network machine ever. Ye history ke andar aata hai AI ki. When we study the history of artificial intelligence, then this is the first neural network calculator. This is first neural network machine ever built. Right? This is first machine which was developed by uh, Marvin Miskis. Right? Okay. Please note down the full form here. Next question everyone. Next question is, neural network method of forecasting is applicable in what? Forecasting. Forecasting ka matlab samajhte ho na, where you can, we, we can predict or see something for future. Hmm? Yes. The right answer is, so when we talk about this word in organization, organization ka matlab hai company ke andar. Yes, company ke andar baat kar rahe hain hum log, ek organization ke andar. Right, forecasting is something which can happen in future. So, if we talk about something which can happen in future, so neural network is forecasting for uh, uh, the predictions, na? actually it's for predictions. So, it is applicable in development phase. It is applicable in advanced phase? No. It is applicable in development phase of organization. At development phase, we can predict what can happen in future. So, it will be applicable in organization at the development phase, you can see. It is applicable in development phase of the organization because artificial neural network method is a series of algorithms that allow complex non-linear relationship between response variables and its predictors. So, it's in development phase which can predict what, what can happen in future. Okay, next general knowledge question. Which of the following is an unsupervised neural network? So, there are many terms, five terms which we have added here. Time starts now. What is an unsupervised? There was one more question for unsupervised, which was self-organizing uh, map, right? So, this is also one such question for unsupervised. Out of them, what is unsupervised? Yes. What is un unsupervised? First of all, you can, you can read about these terms. What are these terms? Like we can talk about RBS is rule-based system, which is uh, for rules are given to define the predictions, to define the deductions. Huh? Rule-based systems, rule-based systems like you study forward chaining and backward chaining, huh? which, are, which are practically used like any medical examination, medical examination test, um, for example, uh, culture test, huh? blood culture. So, blood culture basically is a forward chaining in, in which we have to try finding out, it, it's a type of rule-based system where you have to try finding out what is the infection, what is the problem. Huh? So, this is a type of rule-based Okay, this is a type of rule based. Similarly, you can talk about what is the meaning of here Hopfield. 
yes so hop field is uh, again a neural network it consists of single layer हाँ लेयर जैसे न्यूरल नेटवर्क में वैसे मल्टीपल लेयर्स होती हैं बट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट हॉप फील्ड सो हॉप फील्ड ऑपरेट अपॉन द सिंगल लेयर इट्स 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 आल्सो अ टाइप ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर इन द न्यूरल नेटवर्क राइट आल्सो यू कैन टॉक अबाउट हियर द वर्ड बैक प्रोपगेशन तो हम पहले भी पढ़ चुके हैं बैक प्रोपगेशन मीन्स ऑब्वियसली रिवर्स डायरेक्शन के अंदर मूव करना राइट द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज कोहोन एन वॉट इज कोहोन एन so here let's understand why this is unsupervised so this is self organizing map remember in the last question i said you self organizing map so self organizing map a type of self organizing map is this this is one of the basic types of self organizing neural networks so self organizing is always unsupervised this is also one type of self organizing so right answer is this okay and if you if you talk about what is dbs so here it is a technology for uh, banking technology hai ye ek tarike ki in artificial intelligence okay all right to the next question everyone here Back propagation is a learning technique which adjusts the weights in the neural network by propagating weight change forward from source to sink, backward from sink to sink to source, forward from source to hidden nodes, backward from sink to hidden nodes. What is back propagation? अभी पीछे word भी आया था. So back propagation word किससे correlate करता है? Yes. बैक प्रोपगेशन वर्ड बेसिकली करस्पॉन्स टू बैकवर्ड मूवमेंट और प्रोपगेटिंग द वेट चेंज बैकवर्ड फ्रॉम सिंक टू हिडन नोट्स इट इज अ टेक्निक बेसिकली विच इज एडजस्टिंग द वेट्स एंड फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम सिंक कमिंग टू द हिडन नोट सो राइट आंसर विल बी डी इट्स अ लर्निंग टेक्निक दैट एडजस्ट द वेट्स बाई प्रोपगेटिंग द वेट चेंजेस बैकवर्ड फ्रॉम सिंक टू हिडन नोट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन एन एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम द एक्सपर्टाइज ओके टेन क्वेश्चन वर जनरल नॉलेज टाइप ऑफ नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द एक्चुअली द सब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड क्वेश्चन ठीक है इन एन एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम द एक्सपर्टाइज इज कंटेन्ड इन वेयर the expertise is contained in a database model based knowledge based content based yes the expertise is contained in base knowledge base Yes, because knowledge base is a storehouse, na, which will be storing all the information, which will be storing the complete content. Okay. Before we proceed to our next question, press the button like everyone. Quickly mark your attendance, please. Next question. The knowledge base of an expert system includes both facts and theories. heuristics algorithms analyzes or none of these the knowledge base of an expert system includes what it includes facts it includes facts as well as there are some estimations which it can include and those estimations are called as heuristic knowledge which is to estimate to guess to discover something hai na which is used to discover something so th these are the two basic principal things which are included in expert system so expert system always contain facts as well as heuristic knowledge you can say it contain factual knowledge and heuristic knowledge right so it includes factual and heuristic knowledge knowledge base of an expert system contain factual knowledge and heuristic knowledge next question the data structure used in crossover operation of genetic algorithm is what tree graph linked list and queue to show the crossover operation in genetic algorithms what type of data structure is used tree graph linked list or queue it's a simple question remember 
द क्रॉस ओवर ऑपरेशन सोचो जल्दी से क्रॉस ओवर ऑपरेशन क्या होता है इट इज द ऑपरेशन इन विच द क्रोमोजोम विल पास ऑन फ्रॉम जेनरेशन टू नेक्स्ट है ना एक जनरेशन से दूसरे जनरेशन में क्रॉस ओवर किया जाता है एज लाइक अ नेचुरल रिप्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस है ना सो हेयर द टारगेट इज द एजेंडा इज टू प्रोड्यूस अ बेटर ऑफ स्प्रिंग है ना सो मेथड इज बेसिकली द बायोलॉजिकल मेथड इज एप्लीकेबल इन द uh artificial manner right so it use what data structure it use tree data structure yes so tree is a data structure which is used here next question everyone in front of you in genetic algorithms which of the following mentioned elements is or are used in the pseudo code of genetic algorithms so code mein kya use hota hai initialize population select repeat copy Yes, it is a form of a computer language, है ना A coding form of computer language, which is used for program design. Okay, it it is artificial, or you can say informal language. We can also say, है ना Which is helping the programmer to develop the algorithm. In terms of artificial intelligence, it contain copy, because the elements which are contained here in the code of genetic algorithms can be initialize population it can be repeat it can evaluate it can apply selection crossover mutation replacement and termination so here it has initialize population question is which or methods are used so i think many will be used here you should have select also repeat also only copy is not used only copy is not used so i either the question should be not used or the question should be copy is not used we we use initialize population we have select we have repeat so d is not used ye question ye hona chahiye tha not used theek hai to iska answer d banta you can see here what all are used here initialize population with the elements contained repeat evaluate selection crossover mutation replacement and termination so d copy is not used here okay we have all of them rest all of them okay before we proceed to our next question everyone one amazing announcement please note down so app session baidu's app session before examination as expected examination bahut near hai you all know in the month of september as announced by nta to abhi there is a amazing rapid revision crash crash course which i am starting tuesday 11 am se start ho raha hai please note down by juice app session tuesday 11 am rapid revision crash course okay tuesday 11 am rapid revision crash course i am repeating again and again just because you all should join you all should not miss this because this is this will be the final revision before the examination so tuesday is 6th of september we are going to start with rapid revision sessions unit by unit chalenge i'll take one unit in one session okay so and here in one unit will be covering the important topics only because that's really difficult to cover complete unit. it so will be taking highlights important topics okay do not miss this 6 september tuesday 11 am also one more announcement mega workshop today 2nd of september by gulshan ma'am where she will be teaching you she'll be telling you what are the best tricks to cover teaching and research you can score 100% you can score well in teaching and research what are the tips which you have to follow so do not miss 2nd of september on byju's app again. Again, 8 p.m. So register, please, everyone. Okay, right. Next question in front of you here. Consider the following evolution, selection, reproduction, mutation. Which of the following are found in genetic algorithms? Genetic algorithm includes what? Evolution, selection, reproduction, mutation. A uh, few of them, or all of them. So codes created here. 
yes genetic algorithms are including all of them they all are present in the genetic algorithm yes they all are present in genetic algorithms evolution selection reproduction and mutation all are present in genetic algorithms next question oh sorry this is the wrong question depth first search yahan pe aa gaya hai galti se leave it leave it leave it here okay match the following everyone match the following knowledge representation techniques with their application that was question from algo ds we have covered it so mai beech mein nahi discuss kar rahi hu frames conceptual dependency associative network and scripts you have to match the uh, the the definitions what are the frames i think two terms here are very simple as i can see two terms are very simple uh, which is one frames frames are always the record like structures hai na so frames are the record like structures which are grouping the related information theek hai along with this uh, you can see what are the associative networks which are also known as semantic network in semantic network we have nodes which are connected with the help of relation so it's a pictorial representation it's a picture type of representation in which we have objects objects ko hum nodes bol rahe hain their attributes and their relationship written on the link theek hai so c will match with 1 a will match with 3 c will match with 1 so there is only one option as such so question done answer is option number a otherwise you can note scripts are what scripts are something which represent the real world event any you will write a script on going to a mall right you went to a mall so you write a script defining all the scenes defining all the things over there so it's a type of stereotype uh, sit event right okay and uh, what is conceptual dependencies they are structures and primitives to represent the sentences so right answer is a with two statements you can do although but yes right answer is a next question everyone Next question, question number eighteen. Match the following with respect to heuristic search techniques: steepest excess hill climbing, branch and bound, constraint satisfaction, mean and analysis. So match with their respective definitions. Time starts now. one term here is uh, simple which is mean and analysis mean and analysis is one of a simplest term because it it is actually calculating the difference calculating the difference between current state and goal state करंट और गोल का डिफरेंस निकालने को मीन एंड एनालिसिस कहते हैं ठीक है सो ये तो हो गया बहुत सिंपल आगे हम लोग देख सकते हैं फॉर नेक्स्ट टॉप नेक्स्ट टर्म्स व्हाट इज स्टीपेस्ट एक्सेस हिल क्लाइंबिंग इट इज द ऑल द मूव्स कंसीडर ऑल द मूव्स एंड देन सेलेक्ट द बेस्ट मूव दिस इज स्टीपेस्ट एक्सेस ए विल मैच विथ फोर डी विल मैच विथ थ्री ए विल मैच विथ फोर राइट नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज ब्रांच एंड बाउंड ब्रांच एंड बाउंड तो सबको पता है ब्रांच एंड बाउंड मेथड यू विल कीप ट्रैक ऑफ ऑल पार्शियल पार्ट्स व्हिच कैन बी कैंडिडेट फॉर फर्दर एक्सप्लोरेशन हां एंड कंस्ट्रेंट सेटिस्फैक्शन इज डिस्कवर प्रॉब्लम स्टेट that satisfy the set of constraints व्हिच विल सेटिस्फाई दोस रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस सो आंसर विल बी बी answer will be b constraint satisfaction word itself i think defines because constraint satisfaction is to find the problem state that meet the constraint that mean the constraint jo usko fulfill kar sakta hai theek hai jo usko fulfill kar sakta hai 
ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट कॉन्स्टेंट वर्ड आई थिंक यहाँ पे लिख के क्लियर कर दिया ना कॉन्स्टेंट सैटिस्फेक्शन एम्स टू फाइंड स्टेट दैट मीट्स द कंडीशन ऑफ सेट ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट दैट्स व्हाट आई सेड ना राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बैक प्रोपगेशन इज अ लर्निंग टेक्निक दैट एडजस्ट द वेट्स इन द न्यूरल नेटवर्क ओके दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑलरेडी डन दिस इज डन आई एम नॉट रिपीटिंग सॉरी दिस इज डन इट्स इज so it's 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 from the backward from source to hidden notes ha huh? okay previous year question net examination p by q a star algorithm is granted to find an optimal solution if a star algorithm a heuristic search algorithm ha huh? or you can say informed search algorithm is granted to find optimal solution if H dash is always zero, or it never overestimates, or it never underestimates. G is always one. There is an equation which we use now in A star algorithm, which is F n is equal to G n plus H n, right? Na, so H here is what? Actually, H n is heuristic. It's a type of estimation. It's a type of guess which is given. एक तरीके का एस्टिमेशन एक तरीके का गेस है जो हमें क्वेश्चन में गिवन होता है इट विल ओवर ऑलवेज फाइंड ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन इफ द एस्टिमेशन इज नेवर ओवर एस्टिमेटेड राइट इट विल ऑलवेज गिव द ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन इफ द गेस इफ एस्टिमेशन इज ऑलवेज नेवर ओवर एस्टिमेटेड वी कैन से Never underestimated. No, we can say H dash can be underestimated. It's okay. It is underestimated, but but it should never overestimate. So right answer will be C. This is previous year question. Everyone, ये पूछा जा चुका है. Okay, next question. Never overestimates. Otherwise. स्टेटमेंट आइदर कैन बी दिस स्टेटमेंट आइदर कैन बी दिस ऑल्सो कैन बी अंडर एस्टिमेटेड ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैन बी यूज फॉर क्लस्टरिंग ऑफ डेटा सिंगल लेयर परसेप्शन मल्टी लेयर परसेप्शन सेल्फ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग मैप और रेडियल बेसिस फंक्शन विच इज यूज फॉर क्लस्टरिंग ऑफ डेटा Clustering will be using again uh, the type of uh, unsupervised learning. Yes, clustering operations can be applied on maps again. Clustering operations can be applied on self-organizing maps, right? It's applied on self-organizing map because here we can again uh, do a type of unsupervised learning. है ना? Clustering is applicable on unsupervised learning. You can also read here self-organizing map. It is artificial neural network which can be used for representing input space of training samples, which are called as maps. We can also perform clustering operation on these maps. We can cluster data without having knowledge about its class membership there is no knowledge about something but we can cluster upon something which is common ha na recognizing the patterns or finding out what is common we can definitely do this okay next question dash is the process of extracting previously non known valid and actionable information from a large data to make a crucial business and strategic decisions what is that process with which we can extract the previously non known valid and actionable information from large data to make the crucial and strategic decisions जहां से आप बहुत सारा डेटा जो है मतलब एक्सट्रैक्ट कर रहे हो है ना एक लार्ज डेटा से जिससे कि आप कुछ डिसीजंस ले सको ऑब्वियसली मेटा डेटा है ना वैसे डेटा माइनिंग बेसिकली इज वेयर यू द प्रोसेस वेयर यू फाइंड द अनोमलीज पैटर्न विद हुज ह्यूज चंक्स ऑफ डेटा राइट so i think mining should be the right answer here 
metadata is data about data mining is a process of extracting mining it should be mining it should be data mining yes because it's extraction process na it's a way of extracting uh, not known valid or actionable information from large data definitely no it should be c it should be mining yes it's mining okay next question everyone next question next question is a star algorithm uses that's what i said equation f is equal to g plus h abhi maine piche bataya to estimate the cost of getting from initial state to goal state where g is the measure of cost of getting from initial state to current node and the function is an estimation of cost of getting from current node to the goal node and the h function right okay it's a estimation the question is to find a path involving the fewest number of steps we would set the value of g uh, we would set the value of g or h equal to what to find the path which involves fewest number of steps kam se kam steps lage to hum kya kar sakte hain g ya h mein se kisi ek value ko set kar sakte hain the question is what should we set it as what should we set it as to find the path involving fewest number of steps time starts now this is also previous year question everyone we can have the fewest number of steps if uh the cost of getting from initial state to the current node is equal to the cost of going from initial state to the current node is equal to 1 it should be 1 if the cost of getting from initial node to the current node should be 1 so g should be 1 if this is 1 then then we can have the fewest most fewest number of steps involved g should be 1 g should be 1 right you can see here i have added the solution if we want the path with most fewer number of steps for that we need this to set the cost that is involved in moving from original node to present node to one so here answer should be one h is the guess na uske liye to aap sure nahi ho h is a guess it's a estimation right that is a estimation so you can talk about the value of g okay Okay, all right. One last question, everyone, before winding up our session. Twenty-fifth question. Match the following intelligence, knowledge, information, data with all of them. Time starts now. Intelligence, knowledge, information, and data. one very simple point i think here is something oh uh, poonam for this i will take one example of a star i'll bring one question of a star because uh, for that we have to completely understand the a star algorithm with an example theek okay? hai so i'll bring in one of the sessions and then we'll see the working of a star right so what is one very easy part here that is data so data is something which is which can be scattered ha na or you can say data is something which can be raw now useful thing will be extracted from data and that useful thing will become information data can be raw but out of that raw when you find out something which is relevant which is useful which has a meaning that is called as information so information is one of a very simple match here that it is codifiable it is endorsed with relevance and a purpose 
इंफॉर्मेशन का हमेशा कोई पर्पस होता है बिना पर्पस के इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं होता तो सिविल मैच विद ऑप्शन नंबर फोर फॉर श्योर ठीक है इफ सिविल मैच विद ऑप्शन फोर ना यू कैन सी डेटा एज वॉट आई सेड डेटा इज वॉट डेटा इज समथिंग विच इज रॉ सो इट इज स्कैटर्ड फैक्ट विच आर इजिली ट्रांसफरेबल सो डी विल मैच विद टू इफ सी इज फोर डी इज टू देन आंसर आई दर इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी और आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी नाउ यू शुड नो अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटेलिजेंस एंड नॉलेज अब इसमें से कॉन्सेप्ट बेस्ड क्या होता है कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्या होता है नॉलेज इज ऑलवेज समथिंग विच इज रिलेटेड टू अ कॉन्टेक्सट नॉलेज इज समथिंग आप एक बात सोचो आपको कंप्यूटर साइंस के बारे में नॉलेज है तो वो नॉलेज आपकी सब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड है ना नॉलेज हमेशा एक पर्टिकुलर कॉन्टेक्स्ट पे होती है नॉलेज हमेशा एक पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट पे होती है और उसको आप ट्रांसफर कर सकते हो है ना नॉलेज को आप ट्रांसफर कर सकते हो इंटेलिजेंस जनरल होती है और इंटेलिजेंस को आप जज कर सकते हो हाउ मच इंटेलिजेंट अ पर्सन इज सो इट इंटेलिजेंस कैन बी जजमेंटल सो नॉलेज इज रिलेटेड टू अ कॉन्टेक्सट वेर एज इंटेलिजेंस इज जजमेंटल सो हेयर ए विल मैच विद ऑप्शन थ्री and b will match with one answer should be b option number b generally also you can correlate this hai na aap soch sakte ho inme difference aur samajh sakte ho okay that is all for the session everyone that is all for the class here one homework question before moving to our uh, uh, before winding up this class yes so homework question i'll be discussing tomorrow this is very simple question which i've kept in today's session which of the following sort sorting algorithms in its typical implementation gives best performance when applied on an array which is sorted or almost sorted bahut easy simple question hai homework ka do reply in the comment box we'll be discussing tomorrow and yes as i said to you earlier also tomorrow saturday on youtube at 11 am we will be discussing again numerical questions so kal bhi humne numerical kare the but kal humne algorithm data structure ke kare the ab main mix session lekar aaungi kal youtube ke upar tomorrow tomorrow means 3rd of september right so i will keep questions of algo ds plus some more questions right do not forget you all have to join for the session please note down and yes before going press the button like and do share the session with your friends as much as you can thank you so very much god bless you lots of love bye bye take care thank you